Hello everyone and welcome to Men's Life Wallet. Today in this video we'll learn about a strategy with $200 bankroll and using the dozens. So these are the dozens you have to put your bets and uh, you have to play with uh, two dozen, any two dozen at a time. That may be first and uh, second dozen, first or third or second or third dozen. So the strategy is that you have to put start from a one dollar at any two dozen and if you lose then uh, add three unit that is uh, four at both position again you lose then go for another three unit and now it's become seven similarly whenever you won just reduce two unit suppose you won the seventh uh, unit spin then reduce two unit now it's become five unit again if you own then it's become about three unit this is the strategy you have to follow and for 200 dollar bank row, you have to play with the one dollar bets and your target is just ten dollar per cycle so for ten dollar bets we have to play and we have to increase upon losses we have to decrease upon win and whenever we hit the target of ten dollar just move back to the basic one unit bets at both position for a fresh ten dollar target strategy is quite simple and easy to execute also and then one more thing this strategy is uh, quite applicable both in online and in real wallet but if you are playing with online wallet you have to uh, shift your bets regularly from uh, dozen to dozen but for real wallet you may stick to two dozen for a long period of time that doesn't matter but for online wallet remember to shift your bets from dozen to dozen regularly so let's start the game and see how it actually works so you can see the bankroll 200 dollar bets one dollar and two position or oh, that is two dozen so i have started from first and second dozen and play it's zero very starting spin with a loss so i have to add three more unit to both position now it's become four unit at each position earlier it was one i have added three more unit to that now it's become four unit total eight unit at both position it's 24 a winning one this time now I have to reduce two unit as I own my last spin of four unit bets at each position. Now uh, by reducing two unit, it's become two at both position. It's twelve again a winning one. Now again I have to reduce two unit from reducing two unit from two unit bets. Now it's become one unit basic bets at both the position. It's 35 we're losing one this time so i have decided to go with the first and third dozen and i have to increase three more unit here now it's become four unit at each position remember your target should be small your bank rate should be high then this strategy is quite applicable and also can give a very good profit so last spin this spin was a win and last spin was four dollar spin so now it's uh, two dollar at both position we have reduced two unit from our last bets it's 34 again a winning one at the end of the video i will tell you why i'm actually adding three unit and two reducing two unit after every win so last spin was two dollar unit and i won that that's why i have reduced it to one dollar unit it's number four again i win here and one more spin with the basic bets if we win here we will achieve the first target of ten dollar and it's a win so now you can see we have easily achieve the target of ten dollar we have started from two hundred 
and that now we are at 210 this 10 dollar is the profit or the target we are playing for so let's try again with the same strategy for another 10 dollar bet 10 dollar profit now i have decided to go with the second and third dozen at the beginning and play i have started this cycle from 210 my target is another 10 so the total bankroll i should achieve will be uh, 220 dollar so very first spin was again a loss so i have decided to go with first and third dozen and increasing three unit at both the position now it's become four unit at first dozen and also four unit of four dollar at third dozen it's 35 a winning one so now time to reduce it to two unit as i own the four unit spin it's 23 this time i lose so the last spin was uh four un two unit at both position now as we lost it's by adding three more unit to each position now it's become five unit at both position so five unit and i have decided to go with this first dozen five unit you have to shift your bets continuously from dozen to dozen when you are playing on online drawlet this is quite important for online drawlet because in online drawlet that is not a random number generator it's a program and you have to beat the program and you can't do that with the static bets so shifting the bets from dozen to dozen is quite important if you are going with the online drawlet so last spin was a five unit spin so this time i have to reduce two unit as i lose as i won my last spin so now it's become three unit at both position and play it's nine i win here again i have to reduce two more unit now it's become one unit at both position total unit is a two or two dollar you can say it's a 26 again a losing one so i have to increase now last spin was a one unit spin so i have to go with three more units at both position now it's become four unit at each position it's six i win here again have to reduce it to two unit i will tell you the reason behind increasing three unit exactly why i'm increasing three unit after every losses so i lost my two unit spin so now it's time for five five units spin this time because I, I have increased that three more unit to both position it's nine again i lose so it's time to increase another three unit earlier it was five unit now it's eight unit it's 17 another losing spin so earlier it was eight unit now it's 11 unit this is the reason i told you to have at least a 200 dollar bankroll because sometimes you have to face a few losses in a row three four or five losses in a row so <clears throat> i win here at the 11 unit dollar spin i own so i have to again to reduce two more unit now it's a nine unit at each position a bigger bank row with a bigger bank row you can uh, follow your losses for a longer period of time and that will help you to uh, achieve your target so I own the nine dollar unit also so time to reduce another two unit now it's a seven dollar unit and I'm shifting the bets from a second dozen to third dozen It's 29 I win here so I own my seven dollar spin also so time for five dollar spin this time 
and I have decided to go with the same two position. This number three and we won. Now you can see we ejectly hit the target. We have started the game from hundred dollar. In the first cycle we achieved ten dollar, and we started the second cycle with the hundred and ten dollar for a target of another ten dollar, and we achieved that ten dollar also. Then now the total bank roll is the two hundred and twenty dollar. This is quite simple and achievable in every rollout session. Now that I am telling you the reason behind increasing exactly 3 unit. I have tried this strategy with the increasing by 1 unit. And then I have to go with 2 unit. But these 1 and 2 unit are not so profitable. Even one, increasing 1 unit after losses will lead to a loss. No matter how many time or how many spin you play. Gradually you will lose all your bankroll. With the increasing 2 unit dollar. After every uh, losses, it will lead not to a profitable one because uh, it takes a very long period of time to recover your, all your losses. But uh, increasing three units has its own logic. Because suppose I have uh, started the game with uh, one unit at both positions, suppose one unit here and one unit here, and I lose, then I will lose total two unit. And if I increase three more unit. After that loss, now it's become 4 and 4. And if I win, I will just uh, win $4. That means uh, I will recover my last losses of $2 and also make a profit of $2. That is important. And reducing 2 unit has the loss, or the only logic that you, you, you have to reduce the losses uh, or the risk by... Uh, getting to a higher bets volume so this is the strategy you can apply to your wallet and one more thing again i will remind you 200 dollar bankroll how what one dollar bets is important to achieve a 10 dollar per cycle and one more thing that is uh, when you are going with the online wallet shift your bets from dozen to dozen in a regular manner you can uh, choose the first dozen, second dozen in the first spin. In the second spin, you can choose a second and third dozen or first or third dozen. But whatever, you don't have to stick at the same position or same two dozen in online wallet. But for real, as you know, a real wallet, you can go with the same static bet no matter how many spin you play. This strategy is going to give you the profit. So I hope you uh, understood this strategy and if you really understood this strategy then please uh, share this video with your friends who are active in Rollet so then that they can also learn something or they can also make some profit from Rollet table. Thanks for watching. Thank you.